Hi everybody, I'm Jim. And I'm Rich. And we're playing Resident Rise, and there have been some significant changes. There have. My my poor, poor mana farm. Yeah, Rich, in the meantime, uh, between this episode and the last one, updated the server. I did. And the result has been... Uh, I, I lost my pants... And all my cool fireproof armor. You did. I lost all my flowers. Apparently, Batania, from the version I was on to the version I just updated to, my flowers decayed. I have to switch to some kind of active uh, thing now. On the other hand, we can come over here and look at the animals. They poop. They poop. She poops. They're making flowers. Yep. The thing that gets me is our mine shaft. One, one of the so we lost a couple of mods. Uh, one of them was falling meteors, uh, okay. which isn't in the new Resident Rise mod pack. The other one was was it metallurgy? We lost metallurgy as well. Yeah. So all of the metallurgy ores in chunks that we have loaded are gone, and that means that our bottom level looks like Swiss cheese. Yeah, it was artifice as well. Had yeah. stuff, and yeah. So any new chunks that we load will be fine, but you know we did not go on a weird strip mining spree. We just uh, try to stay up to date. It'll do, something similar to this will probably happen when we finally wind up moving when the Resident Rise becomes compatible with one point nine. Oh, it will be a while before it becomes compatible with 1.9, because it's not even 1.8 yet. I know. I'm so excited, though. There's shields and new fighting stuff. and. Oh, I haven't even looked at that. I've just been looking at the 1.8 mods. My roommate's been playing it, and he oh. says that it's fantastically difficult. So, up here, we've now got... Dander lily seeds have been growing nicely. Got a yes. lot of more... Uh... Have you managed to get some extra seeds, too? And a lot of ender pearls. Good. I'm gonna use them to build elevators. <sighs> yeah. And Among other things. I planted some extra trees here, and I, I don't think Jim's too pleased with the results. I am. We've got some nice pure nodes growing here. On the other hand, it's changed some of the biomes, some very small area of biome, to um, magical forest. forest. Listen, all right. I don't care for your wizard bullshit. I think I've made that quite clear. Don't worry, I'm sure the wisps will leave you alone if they start spawning. I don't think that's true. We've got another one over there, too. Oh, man. But one thing I need to get building, and hopefully we can get this done in time for tonight, in-game, is an enchanting table. Okay. I might actually have to look up the ritual entirely. Ooh. But we're going to activate a division sigil and get a bunch of cursed earth. Sounds good. While you're doing that, I'm going to build some multi-block structures. Okay. Specifically, coke oven. Just do which takes bricks and sand. So I'm going to need clay. Three times nine is twenty-seven, so I need twenty-six of them. I need four bricks, so four times twenty-six. No, oh, you just made something the perfect size. What'd you just make? Uh, nothing. I opened. I opened the inventory. The wireless access. Yeah. Huh. So the other thing we did was uh, we rearranged the furnace rig a bit. Oh, did he ever? I've also been rearranging the storage. We have so more storage. In the furnace area, we've got a little service level, and it actually funnels down into three different furnaces, and subsequently three different pulverizers. Wow, I'm getting weird enchantments all over the place now. So, I think I got so the this. So this will cook up all of my things. Because we are pulverizing a lot of stuff, and I got tired of fighting over who had the pulverizer when. 
And yeah, Rick, you've made a bunch of changes to the storage system. Yeah, I um, improved how much storage we have. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't yet hooked up the barrels. We're um, kind of short on power. Listen, all right? I'm working on it. But we've got 16k storage cells now in these two dries, and I've got a whole lot more made. We just don't have the power for it yet. I've got some uh, crafting storage and a co-processing unit, so I can do some automated crafting over here of those damn circuits that AE2 needs a crap ton of. So I've put in things like interfaces to put in patterns. We've got like various buses running here, import and export. I've upgraded this stuff. Now I can just go over here, tell the system, look, I want X amount uh, of whatever circuit I need, and the system I will make it for me. I forgot about that. What's that? In order to build a black blast furnace, I need magma cream. Really? Yup. Doesn't that just like need blazes and uh slime? Blaze powder and slime, huh? Oh we have lots of slime balls, then um, it's fine. We only have five blaze powder. We have blaze rods though. Yeah. Oh and in here. Since we did have time between the update and stuff, I went and I filled all these jars and labeled them, and oh my god, was that a pain in the ass to do by hand. <laughs> so I am going to be making golems to do this for me. I've also made a couple of alchemical constructs. They're going to be going on top of the crucible, which I'm going to be moving over here somewhere. Probably over to one of these dirt blocks eventually, so that I can hook them into ME system, once I can start soaring the Sencha. I shortened the room a bit, and back in here, we did some testing, and we're going to create mob spawners and farms here. Because, why not? We have the technology. We do. Okay, I don't think I'm going to have everything ready for the ritual tonight. Um... I better go breed the sheep. I need to kidnap one. Oh, uh, the actual reason why we won't have a blast furnace today? Oh? Soul sand. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to have to go to the nether and try and dig some up, but Good we luck. had a real hard time finding it. Yep. Uh, I'm staying out of the nether. That's a scary place. I'm not geared for the nether anymore. No. Nope. No, you were not. You had an accident. I did, I did, I did. So, what do we got? Alter can see the moon. Alter has sufficient natural earth. Needs a redstone circle. And there's too much light around it. This is your division sigil? Yes. magical bullshit again. I can tell. Start taking away some of the light. This is going to get dangerous. I'm going to need you to keep me alive. Uh, when? Uh, midnight. We're Where getting close. Now? Uh, we're getting close. Okay, let me know. I'm going to go build a coke oven. Okay. So we build the bottom layer, make it hollow in the middle. So yeah, bad things are going to happen. There's going to be fire, there's going to be cursed earth, there's going to be mobs. We do this ritual, I'm going to need you to try and kill mobs while I uh, dig up the cursed earth. Okay, I'm not wearing any armor. FYI. Just make some iron armor. We've got iron. Now I've got right. midnight Actually, going to my Actually, we've got head. a bunch of iron armor in here already. Oh, which I think. It's I my think old iron armor. It might be. Might be mine, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's time. 
well, well, I'm not ready. Oh, well, get ready, or else this is going to get very nasty out here. Okay, well, let me make some pants. And then let me... Oh, I'm on a time limit, so I'm going to go sacrifice this sheep. Boom! Oh, I'm a. Uh, yeah, apparently I'm digging a hole into your bait, into your workshop now. Uh, what? Yeah, things happened. Thankfully, I haven't actually had a lot of enemies spawning on me. Good. All right, I'm here. Okay. Oh Jesus! Yeah, there was an incident with the sacrifice sheep. You want to go down there and pick up this cursed earth that's dropping? No. Why not? I'm gonna stand on this tree and cover you. Why is the fence open? Uh, the fence. Oh, it uh, might have been lit on fire at some point. All right. We um, might need new fence. Okay, I've got some fence. I can fix the fence line. Nothing to see here. Everything is safe. Yes, everything is fine. fine. Yes. Alright. Resuming my sniper position. This looks fine. Like, I mean, sure, you set our whole lawn on fire. Eh. It was easier than <laughs> cutting it. Oops, I gotta go repair my shovel. On well, the plus side, we have an activated division sigil, which means we can divide by diamond. I... what? I don't... Yeah, we what? can make unstable ingots that if we don't do it right, will blow us up. I don't... why would we do that? Uh, because we can make really cool things with unstable ingots. The problem like? with... well, like rings that give us creative flight. This... The, so the problem with this whole shebang is, is you're just like, I did this thing, and I'm like, what? What's happening? Why? Why is our place on fire? Well, yeah, but you don't like all magic bullshit stuff, so... <laughs> no! Wizards are BS. I'm just saying. Engineering is where it's at. I'm not seeing any of these promised monsters, though. Yeah, that was actually kind of disappointing. Did you just shoot me? Maybe. Well, wait till I get rid of all the cursed earth. It'll spread if I don't get rid of it. I'm gonna go fix the fence. God. Alright. See? Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Yeah. What could go wrong with me being able to divide by diamond? Dick. I'm kind of disappointed there wasn't an army of monsters spawning, but... Maybe it's better this way. Um, Jim, why are there arrows coming at me? No reason. Okay. Franklin, let me jump off your head, thanks. Alright, you're gonna fix our lawn, right? Of course, I just need to come down here and get some dirt. This guy. Really, at least I'm not shooting you with arrows. Alright, so I'm gonna go to... we have a coke oven now, so which we, we should probably use it. So the coke oven will transform coal into coal coke, which is a much oh, that kind better of coke. source of fuel. Hey, if it worked faster, I'd use it uh, myself, but... Yeah, it takes a while. And it also produces creosote, which we can use for power. Have you ever tried to use creosote for power? Yeah. How does it work? Well, you use it in biofuel. It's good as, like, a tertiary power source. Okay. Isn't biofuel, like, just a real pain in the butt to make? Mm-hmm. 
That's why he uses a tertiary power source. It's like one of those things where you're like, I don't want to waste this, but... You got a barrel set up to pump that crusoe into? Oh, yeah. It'll take a while for the cocoa to fill, so... Oh, yeah, and it only changes coal, not uh, charcoal. Not charcoal. In the meantime, I'm going to go to the nether and try and find some soul sand. Good luck. No kidding. Oh, I got a couple of your arrows here. I'll throw them in the storage. Seems cool. Take my table, more cursed earth. That worked out pretty good. It worked out pretty good, yeah. You lit our lawn on fire. Yeah, now I don't have to cut the grass. I know, I know. You hate me. So much. So the other thing I need to do is scout a spot for Power Station Beta. Let me tell you, Power Station Beta is going to be a thing. Power Station Alpha is looking pretty good. Oh, I already started a spot for Power Station Beta. Look at me. I'm so smart. <laughs> he's so smart, he's letting me play with wizardry. Oh god, I left you at the house unattended. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, that seems awful. Don't feel bad, I'm just putting more dirt in. I mean, seriously, what kind of trouble could I get up to without supervision? Yeah, no kidding, right? I did just find some soul sand. My big problem with soul sand is that... So I am colorblind. And it's really hard for me to tell soul sand apart from another rack as a result. Like, they have different shapes on them, which is excellent. Yeah, the one who can see colors properly is the one staying out of the nether. Yeah. To be fair, you did have a tragic, tragic incident. I, I really did. I'm traumatized now. I think I need to go through counseling. That seems cool. Maybe you just counseling. We don't have benefits or anything, just FYI. Oh, um... Will they take, uh... Take golems and trade? Mmm, that seems unlikely. Oh, too bad. Figured everybody could use uh, cheap labor. Cheap labor is only useful if you have something you want it to do. I kind of do. I want it to butcher cows. Alright, we have lots of soul sand now. Got a big patch of it. Being very careful not to fall in the lava. Yeah, that doesn't work very well. I don't know, I seem to be managing. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll make you some new uh, fire resist armor. I'm excited. For when, you go, for when you go play with the blazes again. Yeah. I just need some cheap labor first. Now i got to remember how to get back to... Did you not bookmark the portal? I did bookmark the portal. There's just a bunch of stuff in the way. You know, I definitely bookmarked the portal. We definitely did not have an incident wherein I had not bookmarked the portal. Mm -hmm. I don't think people believe us anymore, Jim. That's fine. So, something I really want to do is once we get more power, or more stable power, I should say, is hook these suckers up with storage buses. Then we can access what they've got in them from the uh, storage system. Good barrels. Nice barrels. We love you, barrels. Let's start moving this stuff. Ah, uh, niter. We love you, Nader. All right. Um, let's put you here. So what are you doing with the Nader? Oh, I use the Nader to uh, fuel my uh, Crucible. Oh, neat. Yep. Yeah, I don't know anything about wizard stuff. It's better that way. One mm. of us isn't probably enough. Let's 
slime balls, we need another, another brick. Now to do some magic, if I set this up right. Alakazam? Boom! Hmm. 27 That's divided by old. 4 is 9. No. Mm, 7, I guess. So what this now allows me to do is pipe in essence to get the item I want out, rather than have to fiddle around. And this will be good for making golems. Right, they're not in there. We also have plenty of soul sand in the storage system now. What do you consider plenty? Hmm, like two stacks. So not enough. No. It's never enough. A bit. Seeds go there. So now we're gonna go and put our blast furnace over here. Again, lay in bottom level, middle is Hollow or filled with lava? Right, I forgot. Filled with lava. Some lava. So blast furnace will turn iron into steel. Which will give us an easy way. It doesn't even take any fuel. I thought it needed coal coke. What, the blast furnace? Yeah. I don't think so. I need something to make steel. Now I'm trying to figure out why my blast furnace isn't working. Humanus, Otis, and Spiritus. Oh, jars! Humanus. Oh, because it's, a f it's four tall, that's why. You Why so Yeah, turns out. Nice. So we're going to need some more of uh, that. Right, the blast furnace is the tall one. And here we go, we're making golems. We're oh dear. Making go long. So oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I got two golems made. Come my minions. Oh dear. Put the jars back for now. Decanting cores, which needs blank. What are decanting Decantic. cores? Not decanting cores. I need to make decanting cores to make alchemy cores. I don't know what any of that means. Well, the cores are essentially uh, tell the golems what their jobs are. Oh. I really should get around to making a golem answers belt while I'm at it, too. What are they, how do the golems work? What do they do? I don't. Like, I know what they do. I just. <laughs> Well, you need to give them a core to give them instructions, a bell to tell them what to 
things to access. Mm -hmm. And then they'll just do their jobs. Simple as that. And they're gonna like pick flowers for you and kill cows and stuff? Uh, if I give them the right cores, yeah. Blood Moon! Yep, I'm staying indoors. I don't know about you. Here, I have my uh, Golemancer's Bell. I'll There's tell my our min blast slaves, I mean, uh, minions, what to do. No, you're right, it does take cold coke. Told ya. Conveniently, we have some. Niter and brick. You don't need any more brick, do you? Uh, probably not. Not for a while. Cool. Alright, so we've got our coke oven going, we've got our blast furnace going. Of course I don't have any nitre. You've got your golems up and running. Kinda. I'm getting there. And it's the middle of a blood moon, so everything is red. How can you tell? There's a satyr in my workshop. You probably didn't light it up better enough. No, she's friendly. She's a satyr. There's a bunch of... I just... I did not take a bunch of damage, but something just did. It wasn't me. Ignis, Lux, and Potentia. I was about to say, oh, I don't see any monsters. Now I see the monsters. <laughs> There's... Oh, do I remember to light up where I, uh... No... Hey Jim, you want to place a bunch of torches there? I I'm I'm doing it. I'm here. I'm hearing stuff dying on the uh, um, punji sticks. Those, by the way, I gotta admit, those were a great investment. Of course, they're cheap and easy to make. They too. have killed so many monsters. Oh man, I can double glowstone if I have the right stuff. Ooh, I'm intrigued. Well, I just need the right essences. Oh yeah, I forgot this thing just spits things at the front when you, uh... Okay, gotta put the jars back. Keep yeah, I'm just checking our tidy. area for monsters. We seem pretty clear. I'm usually pretty good on keeping things lit. I'm sometimes good on it. Okay. Now the... That's a creeper. Creepy. Alright. We're gonna let this blood moon pass, and we'll see everybody next episode. Yep, when I will do more magic. Oh, God. Okay, bye, everybody.